correspondent Dan Balls and Bloomberg National Political Reporter Sahil Kapoor. Uh, Dan, you have a, a new story out today talking about the delicate dance, you call it, the phase this Democratic race is now entering Bernie Sanders, Hillary Clinton, as they will try to work towards some kind of peace. What are the major obstacles here? What are the odds there is some kind of unity soon? Well, there are, there are any number of obstacles, and I think the biggest is uh, Senator Sanders. I mean, we have to wait and see how he digests what happened yesterday. Um, the loss in California was much, much bigger than anybody anticipated. Uh, that has to have some impact on him. Um, but he has, he has run an incredible campaign, and he has millions of very loyal followers. And the first question is, how is he going to th think about the road ahead for him and what he wants to accomplish in addition to beating Donald Trump, which is one of the things he's talked about. So um, that's the first question. Uh, some of this will have to do with how uh, Secretary Clinton approaches him. They've been very respectful at this point, and I think they will continue to be that way. Uh, he will sit down tomorrow with President Obama and Senate Minority Leader Harry Reid. Uh, I think both of them will be very respectful about some of the issues that he's raised and talk about the importance of those, but try to nudge him gently at this point uh, toward an endorsement and real unity. But it will take some time. These, there, there, are, there are wounds that have to be healed after a long battle like this. And, and, and Sahil, that, that question Dan is raising about how does Bernie Sanders process this, uh, this uh, defeat? We had him last night. I think we played this a, a while ago saying the fight goes on to Philadelphia. It wasn't clear struggle what he was saying there in, in terms of what kind of fight, what kind of struggle exactly. Is it against Hillary Clinton? Is it over platform play? Because that kind of thing. Right. How do you think, watching him last night, where do you think he is right now? I mean, this is the big moment of truth for Bernie Sanders. He's come so far and he's built something so amazing in his campaign, inspired millions of Americans and especially young people. And he's not, he's clearly not ready to let it go. He said many times that he's going to take the fight to Philadelphia, but he can do the math as, as well as anybody else. And I think he knows deep down, even if he's not ready to let it go, that this is no longer about winning. It's about negotiating the terms of his surrender. He wants to prevent Hillary Clinton from moving to the center in the general election, for her to stick by the things that she's supported on, on the progressive end, things like a higher minimum wage. Um, and does he wants that, to, does that yeah. mean trying to get planks in the platform? Is that the kind of thing that might satisfy? Is there something else? Is there... I think that's part of it. Planks in the platform. He's talked about uh, trying to push for single payer, trying to push for breaking up the banks, things that Democratic elites have not been comfortable with. But it's possible he can get some concessions there. And I think he also wants to reform the nominating process by uh, eliminating close primaries, by letting more independents vote. Maybe he'll give a little on caucuses, which have benefited him. He hasn't really talked so much about that. Um, reforming the superdelegate process. So there are a lot of things he wants, and he has real leverage. Because a lot of his voters, I think, among other reasons are young voters, they're, they're independents, they're not reliable Democrats, and Hillary Clinton and her campaign are going to have to do some work to win them over. They're not going to be easy to bring to her side in the general election, and, and she'll need them. And, and Dan, in, in terms of the role for, for President Obama here, what do we know about the, the relationship or maybe the lack of a relationship between Bernie Sanders and Barack Obama? Obviously, the President and Hillary Clinton worked together for four years after running against each other back in 2008. Bernie Sanders, more of sort of a lone wolf in, in Washington. What do we know about the, that relationship. Well, you're right. I mean, Bernie Sanders has been an independent. He's caucused with the Democrats in the Senate, but he has been a, a, an independent, not a Democrat, throughout his political career. So his ties to the institutional party are pretty weak. Um, that said, there has been a fair amount of communication that has been going on up until last night. It's not as though these conversations start from scratch or from, from, from nothing. Um, the president and some of his folks have been in touch with both campaigns about the way forward. Um, the Senate Minority Leader Harry Reid has been in contact. Elizabeth Warren has been in contact. The two campaigns have been in contact. Now, these are all pre-negotiation. It's not as though there were negotiations going on. But some of the foundation has been laid for a constructive conversation uh, ahead. And I think the president clearly wants to play that role. Uh, we know that Senator Warren, who has great credibility with Senator Sanders and with Senator Sanders' followers, uh, is quite happy to help play that role of, of unifying the party and bringing the two sides together. But it's, it's a combination of a relationship between Senator Sanders and Secretary Clinton and then the much broader and more difficult question of how do you get the Sanders constituency enthusiastically behind the Clinton candidacy. Sahil, if there were a conversation between Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton said to him, you know, who do you think might make a good running mate for me? Do you think Bernie Sanders would say Elizabeth Warren? 
Sure, I think she would fit the mold. She certainly fits the mold of what he's fighting for and what he believes in, especially in terms of cracking down on Wall Street. Um, I think there, there are other senators who also fit that mold as well. I think Sherrod Brown would be among them, although um, there was a report last night that Bernie Sanders isn't particularly happy. Might be some happy. friction there, right? right? Yeah. Might be some friction there. But yes, Bernie Sanders will absolutely want her to pick a progressive, someone who will be able to communicate that message that he's been putting out on the campaign trail, and someone who has a better relationship with the progressive wing of the party and the activists in the party that Hillary Clinton does not quite have, that, that is especially frayed since, uh, since her, her vote in, uh, her vote for the Iraq war that, that she never quite recovered from with certain segments of the base. So I think that that matters a lot to Bernie Sanders, that that element is there in um, her general election campaign. All right, Sahil Kapoor, Dan Balls. Thank you both for the time. Appreciate it. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.